Leaders are asking Vermonters to have a plan for this upcoming storm and any potential flash flooding. It's an all too familiar warning as some communities are still picking up the pieces from the floods a year ago. Our Calvin Cutler live in Cabot tonight. One community slammed by floodwaters. Calvin, what are leaders telling you? Yeah, good evening, Darren and Kat. State leaders are acknowledging the mountains that some Vermonters have had to move over the past year to begin their recovery. And they say for some communities, it could be years. On a muggy Tuesday in Cabot, Jason Monaco and his crew are swinging hammers on a new porch, a year on from last summer's floods. It was hanging in the air, basically, the building, because it tore out all this. The headwaters of the Winooski and what's normally a creek turned into a torrent and washed away the entire foundation of the local hardware store. People been cleaning up. It's been a lot, you know, and it, we've been getting stressed out every time it rains a lot. Down the road at the temporary fire station, Governor Phil Scott and his team highlighting the work accomplished and the continued road to recovery. We have a long way to go. Getting people permanently housed, restoring floodplains, repairing damage, and revitalizing communities. In the immediate aftermath of the floods, Swiftwater rescue teams and the National Guard rescued over 200 people. 6,000 tons of flood debris hauled away to the Coventry landfill. Cash also funneled into Vermont this past year. $20 million paid out to 500 businesses in need and $40 million flowed from FEMA to devastated homeowners. But leaders say there's much more to do. It's about being better prepared to respond to floods the next time, which pray is not tomorrow or the next day, as well as keeping focused on the myriads of mitigation projects which still need to happen to make Vermont more resilient. As Vermont marks a year since the state of emergency, and many are still reeling from the floods. There is an eerie sense of deja vu right now. Leaders are urging vigilance as Tropical Depression Barrel approaches Vermont. Charging your devices, subscribing to Vermont Alerts, checking in on neighbors, and having a plan if you need to evacuate. And right now, we ask that all Vermont communities plan and prepare for potential impacts. Back on the Winooski, Monaco says he's leery about the upcoming weather and that last summer's flooding opened his eyes that it can happen again. But he says rebuilding to bring his community back better keeps him going. Cabot's awesome. I love living here. We've got an awesome community and it's just, you know, remembering how nice it was before the flood and trying to put it back. Now, state leaders say that this is new, is the new normal uh, with damaging and frequent storms. And they say that we need to prepare for their effects and better adapt in this world to how we live with these environmental changes. Reporting live in Cabot, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin.